If you own a home, there are a few things you should know about radon gas. It occurs naturally in the ground and usually seeps into the basement first, and if it's in your home, that's where you'll find the highest concentration. When radon gas finds its way into the home through cracks in the foundation floor or wall, through gaps around pipes, or if you have a sump hole that isn't capped, mm -hmm. then it can accumulate and get to high levels. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer, and that's why it is important to test your home. Health Canada recommends that you do a long-term test okay. for a minimum of three months. And the reason for that is radon levels vary significantly mm -hmm. even from one day to the next. So to, oh. to have an accurate representation of what you're being exposed to, you mm -hmm. want to do that long-term test. In the fall-winter time period is an ideal time as well when your windows and doors are closed. Do-it-yourself radon detectors are the simplest and cheapest way to test your home. Kits are available at home supply stores. It should be left in your home undisturbed for three months and then sent back to the laboratory to be tested. For more information about radon and other potential hazards in the home, you can visit www.healthycanadians.gc.ca slash hazard check or call 1-800-O-Canada.